When we have very little resource to bounce back, then disruptive innovation is our strategy. What I am going to tell you now may conflict with your understanding of disruption. So don't take it too seriously. Just get yourself a glass of your favorite beverage, sit back and enjoy while I'll tell you a story. 20 years ago, when there was no smartphone or streaming media, people used to entertain themselves by reading books, a lot of books. Book lovers used to go to big bookstores, sit on a sofa, get them a pile of books to touch them, fill them, read them, and perhaps buy them. There was no sales pressure. Booksellers' margins were great. Big bookstores were happy to provide those amenities to their customers. At that time, somewhere in Bellevue, Washington, a smart young couple, Jeff and Mackenzie, opened a web bookstore offering great discounted price. But the best books are rarely discounted 30%. Yeah. So we decided, let's, in addition to discounting the, the best sellers, let's also discount the best books. So they didn't have much money, so started very small from their garage. No way Jeff could have matched or offered the big bookstore book buying experience. So he targeted the customers largely ignored by the big bookstores. Who were those customers? I think they were cash trap students or computer savvy book lovers who knew exactly what they are looking for. They also appreciate the good discount and they never cared for using big bookstores as their library. The idea of the online bookstore was not the genius because I am sure there was other online bookstores at that time. While those bookstores were busy and happily doing their everyday online business, Jeff Bezos was busy in doing three things. Win the trust of his customer, rapidly developing his website and the product he offered through them, get the same low internet price. Soon, big bookstores customers started noticing Amazon. It is a great place to buy books. The same book which they see in the big bookstore is available at much lower price. And Amazon is very dependable. The book doesn't get lost. So they changed their shopping habit. They still went to big bookstore as a library, but purchased the book from Amazon. What an insult to the injury. This is what I call a disruptive slap on the face of an established industry. Here is my innovation checklist. Simple three-step process. Step one, identify a large group of underserved customers. Build a low cost and low featured product which will be liked by them. Don't worry if the regular customer of an established business think your product is too basic or substandard. So long this new underserved group of customer thinks your product is good, perfect. Step number three, treat your customers like king. Keep your product cost low and rapidly develop your product quality so that it reaches to the liking of the regular customer base. As you keep on doing this number three steps for a while, the regular customers will start noticing your product. The quality of your product has now improved to their liking and they will start switching and buying your products. Things are looking good. Things are ramping up, cash money is flowing, your business is good. Don't get swayed by that. Don't hit the cruise control button now. Step on your gas and keep on doing this number three step. Keep on improving the product, treat your customer like a king, keep the price low. And then, Congratulations, you have just disrupted an industry. So are you ready to disrupt something? Before I go, two thoughts. You cannot disrupt with a cheap copycat product. No one respects a copycat. Number two, 
it is often tempting to come up with a disruptive idea which is borderline controversial, plays with the gray area of law. Do you have stomach for that? Chew on that. And I will see you in the next episode. With that, Show Mumitro is signing off.